Well, yeah, well, you know, it's an unbelievable experience, unbelievable opportunity, you know, something you dreamed of since you were a kid. So, you know, finally being, you know, in this position, being fortunate enough to be here, you know, you just soak in every opportunity. You just soak in the moment. So, you know, really excited for everything. I'm, you know, I'm grateful and blessed to just be in this, um, this spot, right? Um, you know, I'm just, it's a great opportunity and I'm, I'm grateful for any opportunity I get to go to the next level and play. Um, I'm not really focused on that. I'm focused on uh, improving myself, uh, going to the next level and uh, being the best version of myself that I can be, really. Yeah, no, nah, I definitely uh, think about where I started. You know, I just started playing football to my junior year of high school. Uh, got to Mizzou as a freshman. Early in the road, I was weak. I had to work really hard. I had to learn to love the process and really get myself ready to play. And then each year, I just got better and better. And I really thank my coach, Kevin Peoples, this past year for all the work he helped put me put me in. And um, yeah, it's a blessing to be here, but the job's not done yet. Uh, my story's just started. You know, this is just my uh, rookie year. We got a lot more work to do, and, you know, I'm not satisfied with being here, I got to go dominate now. Uh, for training, I've just been really football-wise. I've just been trying to work on my hands and build muscle memory. I feel like I was way more inconsistent last year using my hands and just, and just relying on my speed. So I've been working on that, being consistent with my hands and building muscle memory. Something that I need to work on that I typically tell them is uh, getting off blocks. So like sometimes I go into my pass rush move, I use a bull and it's just driving them back. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm driving them back so fast. I might as well just keep doing it. Whereas no, I should, as soon as his like foot, feet set, I should, you know, come off of it, which um, I feel like I've worked on a good amount. Um, and then another thing that I feel like I was good at is also uh, my physicality. <laughs> Oh, because I'm a disciplined player. I'm going to get you whatever you need. You know, you tell me to do something, you can, if you need me to be an impact player, I'm going to do everything in my power to do that. If you need me to be a gritty trench player, you know, do the dirty work, I'm going to do whatever I can to, you know, do that. I'm going to give you whatever you need out of me. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a humble. I've learned to be humble. I've learned to be where my feet are. So, you know, I'm going to impact and help the team in any way that I can because that's how we're bred. I just feel like my, my pre-snap recognition, uh, just me knowing the plays ahead of time, uh, I feel like, that's what could, could separate me a lot, uh, me watching a lot of film, knowing what the offense is going to do before they even do it. Uh, I would say a guy that could get off the ball, a guy with some speed, a guy that could bend crazy. I think that makes the best pass rusher, a guy that could bend and use his hands. I think it's my relentless effort out there on the field, uh, just constantly going, uh, never getting tired. Or even if I was tired, I'm, you're going to catch me crawling to the quarterback if I'm out there dying on the field before I stop, you know. Um, just that on top of knowledge of the game, just taking a lot of time watching film and um, getting all the calls right with Coach Schmidt. Um, and, you know, just that love for the game, that passion to go out there and win with my, my, my brothers and that camaraderie, it's just really what drove me out there. For real. Uh, yeah, I play every position. I play a zero, I play a nine. I can run, I can hit, uh, I get my hands inside. Um, I can do anything, man. Like, just give me an opportunity to put my cleats in the ground. I showed that at the Senior Bowl. I got better each and every day against the best competition in college football. I played in the SEC, which is the best conference in football. Um, and that's the thing, I don't want to talk about myself too much. Just cut the tape on it, it'll tell you. Troy Palomalu was one that I uh, really took interest to growing up. Uh, J.J. Watt, when I was in high school, 2015-ish, <laughs> 2016. Um, and yeah, now it's just like, you know, I look at Aiden uh, Hutchinson because, you know, I, I was told we play the same. So I started to look more into him and yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I dropped here and there. I didn't mind it. I like dropping into the flat because sometimes you never know when the ball could be thrown to you. So I had fun dropping in coverage and pass rushing. Teams asked me what I feel comfortable playing at. Uh, they showed me their different schemes, uh, how they see me playing. I feel like I could play anywhere. Uh, I don't feel like I'm like a four eye or a three check. I just feel like I'm a, a playmaker, so you can put me wherever. I mean, absolutely. You want to get 10, 12 sacks, absolutely. That is the dream. But, you know, after a while, you want to be, you know, you want to be the number one defense in the country as well. And that's where we talk about playing as a unit mentality. So, you know, I, obviously you want to be an impact player. And there was more on the film, like on the field after watching film that we could have done or like opportunities that we missed. But, you know, we're focusing on having success as a unit more so than having success, you know, individually. And we're going to do anything in our power to make, make sure that happens and play with each other. You know, I, I think I'm going to be the best version of myself out there. Um, I'm perform. Um, I'm an athlete just like any other guys out here, right? Um, I showed that on my film uh, every game. Uh, so, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be here, right? Uh, that's really all I can say. 
I work really hard. I played running back in high school, so I feel like that footwork transitioned to defensive line. And uh, I know my, my speed could take me a long way. First step, getting off the ball quick and uh, attacking offensive linemen. I feel like I can give them a lot of trouble like that. I mean, I'm a calm person. <laughs> I try not to be never too high, never too low. And, um, and yeah, you're not going to get somebody that's going to be, you never know how they're going to come in. I'm going to try to be the same cat every day. Yeah, I think, you know, speed to power is one of those those things where you got to really give it full effort. Um, if you're not fully committed to a power move, you know, it's not going to work out. Uh, you really got to get low, drive off the line, explosiveness, um, get that leverage underneath his pads. Um, that's why I say, like, you know, size doesn't matter. If you can get your hands underneath somebody's pads and drive up and get them on their heels, regardless, they're going to get moving backwards, if not falling backwards. So. Oh, yeah, it could definitely be improvement there and with the run as well. You know, they're always areas that I can improve at. Um, you know, pass rush being a big thing to focus on, especially out of the Big Ten, because um, that has to do with more film, that has to do with more confidence, and especially rushing as a unit, trusting yourself and rushing as a team. So, you know, there are a lot of, there are a lot of aspects that go into that as well, but it's really just more so trusting in yourself and trusting in your unit, you know, that you're going to make, that you're going to go make the tackle and um, get the sack and that you're going to go, you know, if you miss it, you're going to have your boys cover you, so. You just got to have heart, honestly, uh, no matter what's your size, big, tall, small, skinny. Uh, I just feel like if you got heart and determination, then you could, you could overcome anything. Uh, just have a great work ethic. Relentless, um, always showing up early, extra work, um, you know, just showing every, everybody, leading by example, uh, showing how little things are done, you know, character and integrity, because that's what, you know, great teams are built off, built off of. What you do um, when no one's watching is what matters. Uh, and that's just how I live my life uh, on and off the field, you know, finishing through the line, picking guys up, encouraging guys. So I just think you know, that's the kind of player you'd get for sure. I mean, if you know, you know, like I can move great. Uh, I got great speed. A lot of people at Illinois or whoever watched our games, they already know that. But a lot of teams don't know that. So I I'll just show that and show my, my strength. I'd really just say, uh, Playing a team twice, you just got to be able to adapt from how you played them before. Um, obviously, the scheme's going to change up a little bit. Uh, the notes are going to change up, but you got to be willing to take notes on your mistakes from a game, um, playing a guy or playing a team again, uh, improve on that and adapt it at the same time. That way you can go into the game not as the same player before, but you know somebody who's got a smarter process with that team um, and just you know a new way of thinking of how to play them. I'm just looking at all of them. If I PR in all of them, then that's a good day for me. And, you know, from, from the numbers that I've been fortunate enough to have set, that would be a pretty damn good day.